Clinical trials in cancer are very important and are essentially baked into our DNA. You know, oncology and especially medical oncology is one of the youngest subspecialties of medicine. And we started testing drugs that could kill cancer cells around the time of World War II um, using actually derivatives of mustard gas. But these are all very toxic and we needed to be able to know how to give these drugs safely and to make sure that they were effective uh, in safe doses. So that has been kind of the basic approach in oncology research. We need to know clinic, do clinical trials to know how to use the drugs effectively and safely and to compare them to the standard therapies. Years ago, we were doing trials of maybe adding chemotherapy to surgery compared with surgery alone. And if you compare a couple hundred patients in one group versus a couple hundred in the other group, you can actually determine how much additional benefit you get by the addition of the drug. And so we had trials looking at surgery, surgery with radiation, surgery radiation and chemo, uh, now immunotherapy drugs, targeted drugs, all kinds of interesting new things that take uh, advantage of our knowledge of molecular biology. The NCI and our government invested in understanding cancer cells over the last 20 or 30 years through basic molecular biology research. And today we have probably 50 drugs uh, that we use to treat cancer that are based on these pathways. So that has given rise to the whole concept of precision medicine, knowing using our understanding of molecular biology and our biomarkers, which is the right patient to treat with the right drug at the right time. And we have managed to do that all by clinical trials. Clinical trials are how we have really come to understand how to use the drugs in the best way for the correct patients. And in clinical trials, we have a lot of different kinds of clinical trials. Some of them are early trials looking at toxicity, which we call phase one, and some are comparative, uh, adding a new treatment onto the standard of care. And the new treatment might be a new surgery, it might be adding a new drug or something else, but we know that there is a lot of variability when we take 100 cancer patients. And some people do really well with one treatment and some need more than one treatment. And it is only by having these clinical trials where you can really compare the whole treatment package to the standard approach that we can understand the benefit of adding more or different kinds of treatments.